Have you ever left a bottle of water in the freezer and then forgotten about it? Yes. Right, OK. I've done it too. And uh, what happens is the water inside, when it freezes, expands. It's the only material that does that. And that expansion causes a pressure that cracks the bottle or deforms it. So this same phenomenon can be found in concrete. In fact, it caused a bridge to collapse in Laval in 2006. There are five fatalities and six serious injuries. So it can get pretty bad. Water freezing, it's pretty dangerous. So I'm a civil engineer, and if I have a bridge, I want to make sure that water is not getting in, not expanding, and not causing damage. So how do I do that? Well, I test it. I test the bridge by taking out a small core, which is a small cylinder. It's called a core. And uh, I break the core. The strength of the core can tell me the strength of my bridge, or we can actually just correlate the two. It's very similar. So the current way we break cores is by squishing them from above and below. And then they split size sideways down the middle. But the weakest point may not be down the middle. It may be on the right side or on the left side somewhere. If that was the case, we didn't test for that. So what would be a better way would be to test the whole area of that cylinder and to find that weakest point, because we tested everything, not just the line. Well, my team and I are developing a test that, just, that does exactly that. It's called pressure tension. Pressure tension involves injecting air within that core, and the result is an expansion that pulls it apart from the inside out, just as if it was water expanding as it freezes. So far, our results show that after just one cycle of water freezing, damaging the concrete, and melting, we can find the damage. We can detect it. While other tests, like splitting tension and commonly used tests, take about 15 or more cycles before they can find that damage. So this is good. But it's a new test. And a new test means we don't really understand it fully. So my job in specific is to find out how much water inside the core and how many holes for the water to get in affects the results. And once we figure this out, we'll be able to standardize this test so that all the labs across the world will be able to find the weakest part of their concrete. So what does this mean for you? Well, when you're driving along a bridge and you get slightly worried sometimes, you shouldn't, all right? Because you'll know that the weakest point has been found, repairs have been done early, and the bridge is safe. So when water gets in and expands, it won't cause a huge mess like the bridge in Laval and like the bottle in your freezer. Thank you. Thank you very much.